Hello, I'm Didier Stevens, a senior handler with the Internet Storm Center. Recently, I analyzed a reader submitted uh, malicious document that was encrypted. And uh, I used one of my new tools, a convenient uh, tool, to help you with uh, recovering the password of the encrypted password if you don't have it, so that you can uh, analyze that uh, encrypted document. So I'm going to show you this here uh, in this video. So the tool is called msofcrypto.crack. Uh, hmm? MSOF Crypto is uh, the module, the Python mod module that I use uh, that supports crypto for uh, Microsoft Office. And it has uh, several options. Hmm? So with OD Dump, let's first look at our encrypted uh, malicious document. Hmm? And then you get a stream encrypted package. This actually contains the encrypted document and encryption info contains information about the type of encryption uh, that was used. Huh? So if you see this, you know you are dealing with uh, an encrypted document uh, and so you cannot immediately see the, the macros in here. You first have to decrypt it and then you can look for uh, the macros. I also have a plugin. Plugin Office crypto that gives you a bit more information about the encryption that is being used. And here it is uh, version 3.2, which is uh, standard encryption. And the latest ones that are being used is, for example, 4.4 uh, Agile encryption. So I'm going to use my tool MS of crypto crack on crypted here. And here, after a second or two, okay, it has found the password. Eh? So that's because this malicious document, it's a real malicious document, eh? is encrypted with a simple password, 1234. And MS of Crypto has a built-in list eh, that I took uh, from uh, John the Ripper, uh, a, a built-in list of popular passwords, and 1234 is one of them. Eh? So now we know that is the password, and then we can run our tool again and say that it needs to decrypt the document and write it to this case. So not only find the password, but also decrypt it. And I could, for example, say doc.vir output it to disk with option O. But as you maybe know, I like to pipe uh, output into new uh, tools, uh, into other tools. So I'm going to say output to dash and that instructs MSOF Crypto to output the uh, document to standard out. And then I can pipe this into OLE dump like this. And here now I can see the macros. Huh? So it's in A3. And here you have the macro with the URL. Huh? So that analysis uh, was quick. The macro is not obfuscated. And we can just use that uh, convenience tool, uh, MS of CryptoCrack, to quickly recover the password uh, if we don't know it. So, like I said, it works with a built-in list. You can also provide your own list, your own password list, with option P. And here I have uh, the ROQ list. And as you can see, it is uh, gzip compressed. Eh? So you can pass it a, a list, a text file of passwords, but uh, you can also have it gzip compressed and then uh, the tool will decompress it for you. And let's run this. Now this will at first take some time. It is reading uh, the password list and decrypting it, uh, sorry, decompressing it in memory. Okay, so it uh, already tested the first 100 passwords eh? and you can see it will take quite some time. Mm. This is more than 10 days that it will need to try all those passwords. So you, it illustrates here that this is indeed a, a convenience uh, tool. It uh, helps you if it is uh, a popular password, but uh, if it's a rather obscure password and you want to use ROQ, uh, list, then it will take a long time, and uh, then you're far better off using uh, John the Ripper or uh, Hashcat. Eh? So let me interrupt this. 
Now, okay. So what will often happen with uh, this kind of malicious encrypted document is that you will receive them via mail. Well, actually, a user in your organization will receive it via email, uh, a document attached to it, and the password will be mentioned in uh, the email. And yeah, it can be uh, the case that you will receive the attachment, the document, but that you don't receive the mail so that you don't know the password here. Yeah. Then you can use my tool. If you have the email, then you can try to look for the password and provide it to my tool. Or else there is also an option that you give just all the text, all the strings that are inside the email. And then my tool will extract all uh, the possible passwords and, and, and use that. So I run Oledump on hiring. And this is the email. And here you can see all the streams. So what I'm going to do is select all the streams and then use option S, uppercase S. This will extract all the strings. And I will write this to strings.txt. And let me grab for password in string.txt and you will see huh, uh, inside the mail there is a message that says the password is 1234. What you can do with MS of CryptoCrack is say option E to extract possible passwords from a text file, string text here, and then do crypt it. And then it decrypts it for you because it found that password. Let me do that again, because you might notice that this is quicker than using the built-in list. See, it's a bit quicker if I use the built-in list like this. It takes just a bit longer. And that's because I have written uh, an algorithm in uh, MS of CryptoCrack so that it looks for the keyword password or words between double quotes or single quotes and if it finds that then it extracts also of course those words but it puts them at the beginning of the list eh? so here one two three four is at the beginning of the list uh, it's one of the words in the list and and that's why uh, cracking it uh, goes quickly and then finally if you have recovered the password and it took you for example uh, 10 seconds and, and you don't want to run each time uh, the tool for 10 seconds then sorry you can provide the password with option C C for cracked password 1 2 3 4 like this and then it has decrypted the document for you so I can dump this to standard out and pipe this again into Oli dump. And here uh, you have uh, your streams with the macros.